I'm going to talk about lactose and how it gets into the cell. So lactose, as you know, is just a major carbohydrate that's usually found in milk, and it consists of two six-carbon sugars that are linked together. So here we have our extracellular side. So this is extracellular, so this would be extracellular lactose. This is called a permease protein. Permease is permeable to lactose getting into the cell. So permease will actively transport this lactose into the cell. And in here, an enzyme called beta-galactosidase. So we'll draw that right here. Beta-galactosidase will break it down into two different molecules called galactose and glucose. And obviously glucose is a huge energy source for all organisms. And so right here, this would be beta-galactosidase as well. So in previous videos, I mentioned how, actually I'm just going to label this for you. This is lactose. This is lactose. Oops. In previous videos, I mentioned how an operon can be turned on or off based on this molecule, especially a lactose operon, by this molecule called allolactose. So right here, right here in this pathway, beta-galactosidase, once again, will convert lactose into allolactose. And this is the allolactose that is able to bind to the repressor. So if we just draw a little repressor right here, and if we pretend that this is your operon and this is your repressor, so this is it right here, and this is the binding spot for DNA, this allolactose will come in here and it will bind and remove this repressor so that transcription can be made to make more beta-galactosidase that can break down this lactose and then uh, turn it into galactose and glucose. So people who are lactose intolerant obviously aren't very efficient at breaking down this lactose because they lack the beta-galactosidase enzyme. So that is how lactose intolerance works. So you cannot break it down. If you can't break down a molecule like that, you can't digest it. So we just, people who are lactose intolerant wouldn't be able to digest this lactose and use it for energy in the form of glucose. So that is basically how lactose is transported into the cell and how it will eventually inactivate this uh, repressor. So this would be an inducible operon, a negative inducible operon. So the repressor is always bound and it is inactivated and thus removed. So transcription can occur on these genes here that will lead to this product of beta-galactosidase. So this is the product. And that's how lactose is transported into the cell.